Hi, it's Alan from Crash Test Security. In this video, I will tell you more about downgrade attacks, how they work, and how to prevent them. So let's get started. A downgrade attack is an attack that seeks to cause a connection, protocol, or cryptographic algorithm to drop to an older and less secure version. It is also known as a version rollback attack, or bidding down attack. This attack aims to enable the exploitation of vulnerabilities that are associated with earlier versions. It is enabled by backward compatibility, the principle of ensuring interoperability with legacy servers. If a downgrade attack is successful, it allows other attacks to be performed and can lead to data theft, including credentials, personal financial and medical data and more. Downgrade attacks are frequently launched against the secure sockets layer and transport layer security protocols, which aim to secure internet traffic via cryptography. Downgrade attacks seek to downgrade the use of HTTPS in web applications to HTTP, though these will not be explored here in detail. They can also be used against mail servers to downgrade their cryptographic protocols, such as startles, and force emails to be sent as plain text. Typically, a downgrade attack is part of a larger attack scenario. As the downgrade in itself does not lead to a system compromise, it creates favorable conditions, vectors for further attacks, such as cryptographic attacks. A common approach is to achieve the downgrade via a man-in-the-middle attack, MITM. This enables attackers to interfere with the traffic of the user. After that, they will use their position in the middle to force the server to downgrade to an older protocol TLS or SSL version, also known as a downgrade dance. Depending on the specifics of the attack, MITM may be used to passively capture traffic between a client and server once the downgrade is achieved. At the same time, it can also be used to actively interfere with traffic and send various requests to the server to decipher the cryptographic key, the session cookie, or something else. The above is only one possible scenario of exploiting the vulnerabilities that a downgraded protocol version reveals. Following are some of the main attack types that could use a downgrade approach to achieve their aims. Whether a downgrade is required depends on the status of the target if a system is already using old or obsolete protocol versions, which includes, at minimum, all versions of SSL, then a downgrade is unnecessary. However, this is less likely, so a downgrade attack will usually be part of the below scenarios. Poodle. The Poodle attack, padding Oracle on downgraded legacy encryption, utilizes a protocol downgrade attack as part of its scenario. It relies on a MITM approach in which a user is tricked into running a malicious JavaScript or another type of malicious code through their browser. Running the code will allow the attacker to position themselves in the middle and begin sending requests to a server running some version of TLS to establish a secure connection and then drop these attempts. After a while, if the server supports SSL due to backward compatibility, it will interpret these unsuccessful connection attempts as a cue to switch to SSL 3.0 instead of TLS. Once it has downgraded the version, the attacker can move on to exploiting a vulnerability found in the cipher block chaining mode of encryption that is used in SSL 3.0. At this stage, a padding oracle attack includes sending requests with varying input to the server and monitoring its responses. Based on the responses, an attacker can slowly reveal the encrypted contents of the ciphertext. This exposes the session cookie, hijacks a user's session, and possibly steals their credentials and data. Freak. The freak attack, factoring RSA export keys, utilizes a MITM and a downgrade attack scenario. It is directed at TLS and SSL implementations that allow export grade ciphers that use RSA encryption. Instead of downgrading the whole protocol version, attackers will use their position in the middle between client and browser to request that the server switch from a standard RSA cipher suite to an export grade one. This is done as part of the cipher suite negotiation process in the client hello message to the server. Once the server switches to this less secure cipher suite, attackers can access the suite's decryption key and decrypt and inject traffic. Logjam. The logjam vulnerability operates similarly to Freak. This attack is launched against servers that use TLS with a Diffie-Hellman key exchange. Using a man-in-the-middle approach, attackers force the server's TLS protocol to downgrade to using a 512-bit Diffie-Hellman export grade key exchange algorithm. After causing the downgrade, an attacker can proceed with cracking the encryption parameters and thereby gain access and control over the connection. Beast The Beast attack exploits a vulnerability found in CBC mode in the TLS 1.0 and SSL protocols. It is similar to the Poodle attack, 
though the conditions required to execute a beast successfully are difficult if not impossible to achieve, making it an impractical attack. Like other attacks in this category, beast relies on a man in the middle interfering, causing the protocol to be downgraded. After that, attackers perform record splitting, which means they interfere with the traffic between client and server. They inject data blocks that manipulate cipher block boundaries into the session and observe the server's response. Based on the response, they can slowly guess the contents of the ciphertext blocks exchanged between the server and the client without knowing the encryption key. Sloth. Security losses from obsolete and truncated transcript hashes is an attack that targets the signature and hash algorithms, downgrading them to a weaker version. This allows attackers to capture traffic and decrypt it fairly easily. This attack can be launched against a client and a server independently or together. Like other attacks described above, it also relies on a man in the middle for both the downgrade and the subsequent interference in the traffic. To prevent a downgrade attack, you must address its attack vector. If the vulnerability is due to support for export grade ciphers, then the appropriate measure is to stop supporting such ciphers. If, on the other hand, the exposure is associated with support for previous versions of TLS or SSL, this needs to be addressed. Implementing a secure and stable TLS configuration is one of the best measures you can take to address a host of causes that can lead to a downgrade attack. This includes providing support only to strong protocols such as TLS 1.2 and 1.3 i.e. removing backward compatibility and solid ciphers with no known downgrade vulnerabilities. Enabling the TLS fallback SCSV signal as part of your TLS configuration is another good step in preventing downgrade attacks. Suppose you do decide to support lower protocol versions. In that case, this will prevent your server from downgrading its protocol if the client can meet it at a higher version but is advertising a lower one, possibly due to man-in-the-middle interference. Try Crash Test Security today to discover how it integrates into your development stack for efficient, automated vulnerability scanning. The trial is free. Also, subscribe to the Crash Test Security channel to get more information about the most significant web security threats, their prevention, and how to use the Crash Test Security Suite. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.